In this video, I'll show you a couple different ways that you can create an 80s classic style short rock reverb. This is a Pearl default configuration. We have the Tama Bell Brass snare and I'm using a 22 inch bass drum. And if I go to the mixer, we have a configuration I have created where all I've done is create bus sends on the kick, snare, and tom instrument bus channels. Those are going to this reverb channel, which is currently muted. We have a couple effects already applied. And on the output, I'm simply using a tape simulator and the default settings. Let's take a listen to what we have so far. Go ahead and unmute the reverb channel and the first plugin that we have is the plate reverb i've set the reverb time to a very short 0.5 seconds so half a second and we have about 70 to 75 milliseconds of pre-delay so there'll be a little bit of delay before you actually hear the reverb i've decreased the size and the shape and made a few adjustments to the diffusion and color as well we have 100 percent on our mix because we're dealing with a reverb bus channel i'm going to solo the reverb and let's take a listen Again, it's only the kick, snare, and toms. And I brought up the level just so you could hear it a bit better. Let's turn it back down to where it was. And now let's hear it in the mix. So what's going on here is a very short plate reverb. It's going to get out of the way very quickly. However, because of the pre-delay, it's going to make the drums sound a little bit bigger than they are. Now let's move on to the 1981 classic reverb. This is also a very short reverb and I'll make some adjustments to the decay and high parameters. So this is just the frequency of the reverb. So if I pull this down, the reverb won't have as much high end presence. And with the decay, we can go a bit longer, but we can also get very, very short. So you can get some interesting reverb effects that way as well.
So a lot of really nice options there as well. And notice that when we turn the decay down and we really shorten that reverb and also turn the frequency down so there's not as many high frequencies in the reverb itself, we're able to turn the reverb channel up, bring it into the mix more.